everyone, Itanis here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of World of Final Fantasy. Uh, I found out from some friends of mine that this is not the end of the game. Um, as you can see, I'm still on the save because I actually turned off my TV and walked away for a little bit. So, I have hope now that we will finally actually have a great ending. So, here we go. You will not accept this. It was your doing, yours. And now you would refuse to accept the consequences? Accept it? How could you expect me to accept it? Lon takes the fall? While I cower in my fake world? I mean, this is my fault as much as it is his. He shouldn't have to pay my share. Who do I tell I'm sorry? Our mom and dad? Then I will ask you again, will you, or will you not accept the consequences? I will not! Not these! Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives, and give you a chance to continue your tale differently and weave the threads of time anew. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Life sacrifice acknowledged. Now time shall be threaded anew. Bong. Bong. Right. Postscript. Turn those corners up. Huh? All right. Let's kick some Baja butt and give this world a saving it won't forget. <gasps> After all, if we really did cause all of this mess, it's about time that we settled up. Wait! What? What's gotten into you? Just wait. Where's... Tama? Tama? What's that? Our... <gasps> friend. Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives. That was Tama. And give you a chance to continue your tale differently and weave the threads of time anew. No way. Was that her back there? That was Tama? Uh, hey, Lon! You really don't know who I mean? Tama's our friend! This whole journey, she's been by our side! What? I have no idea what you're saying. What is wrong with you? You're acting so weird. Well, I've never seen her behave like this. Usually Lon's the one who acts like he got punched in the back of the head. Uh, Seraphy? But you... you can't be here. Huh? What? Why would you freak out about Seraphine? Come on, she's the one who's been by our side. Seriously, do you want to rest a sec? Seraphine, you know her. You love Tama. Someone named Tama? Wait, I think I've got it. Could it be short for... Tama Mohime? I have no idea where you might have heard the name. But it sure does take me back to the old days. All right. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going up there to kick some Baja butt. No! Huh? <laughs> Careful. Tama gave her lives for this chance. It's a new timeline. I can't waste it. We're not ready to do this. Why not? 
Lon, think about it. Why did we come here in the first place? You remember? What did we say we were gonna do? What is this, a pop quiz? Answer the question! Well, if you mean the first reason... Um... And a crow told us that if we got back all of the mirages we lost, then we might regain our memories and maybe meet our family. Right? That's right. Taking down the Federation? That wasn't in the plan. Well, of course it wasn't. We didn't even know they existed yet. And anyway, you and me are the ones who brought those Cogna things into Grimoire. It's our mess to clean up. Even if it means fighting Mom and Dad? And having to sacrifice your life in the end? Dude, what? You really have lost it. Lon! Defeating those guys? It won't save the world. No good will come of it. What happens to us? To you? Would you stop getting so worked up? You're not making any sense. The Cogna. We'll stop them. Huh? Well, yeah, we can do that too, but since we're here, let's fight these guys. I told you that won't work. It's pointless. First, we need to close the portal. Which means collecting more mirages, more getting stronger, and more owning up to what we've done. Hello, Rain? Mom, Dad. <laughs> we have to straighten things out with Wen too. And then... Okay, I think it's time that we'll we... Gather mirages, get stronger, and close that portal! You can kick their butts after we do all that. Hold your chocobos. Don't forget, people are losing their souls. Yes, so let's hurry. Mirage collecting and the portal. Oh, and we have to call Wind back from the castle. Hey, Seraphie, do you know anything about that mirage that Wind summons? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. That'd be none other than Siren. She comes from the same world of Wind Pixies that I do. You and her are both from the same world? Well... Then can you contact her and see if she's with Wynn? As long as she's somewhere in Grimoire, then I'd say it's doable. Great. Would you? Okity dokity. Be back in a micro mega flash. Oh, wait! Also, tell her we're sorry for what we did, trapping her for so long, will you? I know that sorry's not enough, but... Yeah, yeah. You're the boss, boss. Rain? What's up? You know something. I'll try to explain. But on the way, we're going to Balam Garden. Hey, let's go wait on the deck. How about... <clears throat> I was thinking about maybe seeing if there were more interventions to do because we're in a new chapter kind of thing. Tell me one thing. This time, do you remember? What you two were like? And the terrible things you did? Yes. A lot of it, anyway. But we're ready. We're going to collect our mirages and face all of our mistakes head on. All right, then. So why did you call me back? If we have the final showdown now, our fam... You and us won't make it. It's not gonna be the outcome that we're hoping for. You don't know that. It hasn't even... I do know! Look. I was there. Please. Don't fight the Heralds yet. Help us save Grimoire first. We could really, really use your help. Do you have a plan? We're going to use the portal. The Ultima Gate? What do you want with that? If you're thinking about opening it again... No, it would never work without you, Wynn. Well, actually, we need all of the summoners for it to work. Lon is right. Summoners have the power to bring mirages from other worlds into this one. Basically, they create a bridge between two worlds. But so can you. In fact, the power is stronger in Mirage Keepers. Don't look at me. 
I'm just regurgitating all the stuff that Rain told me she remembers now. A Mirage Keeper's powers, they're not like those of his summoners. We trap mirages, using miniature worlds that are created by real architects, like our father. And once they're confined, we can release them. And at that point, they're ours to command at will. But to pull that off, you need to bend the rules. And only breakers like our mother can do that. Is that true? So then, your parents' talents, they became yours. To wield any mirage. Yes. And there's more to it. Breakers can extract power from any of their mirages, and then add it to their own. So the more we find, the stronger me and Rain can make ourselves. We didn't give it much thought when we were collecting them back then, but... In fact, we stole our mom's power along with her mirages. <sighs> Wait. If you can't... If Keepers can't actually connect two worlds... Yeah... When I summoned Brandalis... I, uh... I sort of had to borrow your powers when... I used the Crystal Cage. That explains it. I could feel it too. It's like the cage. It was drawing the strength right out of me. And while I was trapped in there... The Heralds could draw on my power... And even pose as me. Wait a minute. Then, did they? Yes. They slowly deceived the world with the Crimson Prophecy, so that Lawn would restore the gate. And by gathering up the other summoners, again, they managed to create a bridge. Right. That explains a lot of things. Okay. So going back. The Ultimate Gate. Why do you need it? It's too late to destroy it. We know. Even if we do, or take out Brandalis, then we're still stuck with a world full of Cogna we can't get rid of. So, we'll reverse it. What? Right. We hope, if we reverse the flow... It'll send the Cogna and Heralds back where they came from. So please, if you and the Summoners help us, we can do this, Alwyn. I... Uh, I know that after all we've done, we don't have any right to ask this. But... I'll do it. Huh? Honestly, I'm not so sure about your plan. It might work like you say. And then again, it might not. But I feel like it's something worth trying. Still. Yes. They'll come after us if they catch on. It's more than that. The Heralds are using your parents... I know that. But you can trust me. Trust us to take care of it. <sighs> okay. When you feel you're ready, say the word. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wyn. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. You can call me Wyn. <laughs> it feels too strange, Alwyn, coming from you two. Uh... <clears throat> <sighs> hey, maybe there's a chance. This arm's gonna bring the world some joy. I know it. Oh! Oh! We need those. We need those. If you're looking for some more mirages, don't forget which pixies rock in the old rumor radar. Yeah, you can wait. I need to go back to Chocolate. I'm here, rain or shine, snowstorm or spear storm. Welcome to the Chocolate Mart! Oh, there are X potions. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, there are X potions. Y'all need to get out of here.
let's go check the girls' team room and see if there's anything new there. Oh. There is something new. Hello. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Oh, there's a couple here. But there's also one down here, I think. Oh. All right. So it's been that long. None of us know exactly how long it's been, but it's estimated the giants who lived here must have disappeared about a hundred years ago. A century? Huh. It's a little hard to imagine. Well, why don't we head back to the airship and... The Hobbit. Wh what the... Was there something I could help you with, Bahamut? Oh... Or should I call you Tia Babalo? You dare speak my true name before a stranger? Have you lost your mind? Uh, what is going on? It's been a century, you said? Been quite a while. But I used to know old Bahamut here. You know the Dyad Servant? A servant? Me. She means that you once served Lon and Rain. Ah, oh, yes. Who can forget those two? What? Lon and Rain are the demon Dyad? The Heralds, probably Seguaritus, must have concocted the name to spice up their crimson prophecy. But there's a basis to it. The original Azure prophecy mentions demons too. <sighs> Did Lon and Rain know? Could they have read it? Rain always was a Yes, she was. Except acting out prophecies sounds like one. You know, you're kind of taking all the wonder out of my childhood here. One thing I know. No one would have started calling them the Demon Dyad or whatever if you hadn't been there, acting like demons and wreaking havoc against their will. You can blame the heralds for that. I don't care how long I was sealed away. As army Muhammad and declare himself king of this world, I'll kill him! Tell me where he is right this instant! Is that the reason you're here? Listen, I've observed Brandalus up close for a century, and... Tia Babalo, face it, you don't stand the slightest chance against him. What was that? The X-9 Knights. I trust you've heard of them. They're a fusion of three things. An esper like me, a human, and lastly a god from the extraverse. Gods from the extraverse? Espers? What are those? Well, the Azure Prophecy makes mention of them both. Essentially, it says, From oblivion, light and dark were born. Light begat beings called espers. Dark begat monsters and humans who sought the light. In the Extraverse, the world that surrounds ours, live gods that feed solely on death and destruction. Gods that are beings and non-beings, and will not heed reason. One world found a tear in the fabric, and exploited it to confine espers inside their human bodies. However, this tear left them open to the Extraverse and its cruel gods. So then, does that mean the Heralds are those exact same gods? I can't say anything with real certainty yet. In the end, the prophecy is just words. So the best we can do is venture a guess at what it means. In fact, it's because this first section was so ambiguous, it was omitted from copies. Only direct descendants know it. Then... that would make you... Yes, that's right. 
the first summoner's descendant. Oh, and probably the last giant summoner, I would imagine. Although, it seems that some of you have picked up the art of summoning in our place. You'll keep it alive. Enough! Get to the point! Are you saying that Brandalus has become an X9 knight? Yes, that's right. A being who, just like in the prophecy, has crossed dimensions. In a way, what else can you call him but a god? He's completely different from the Brandalus that you think you know. You can't beat him. You can't even touch him. This cannot be! What you say is impossible! It doesn't matter what Brandalus is like now! He's not me! I'm the true king! The Bahamut King! Tia! Tia Babalu the Great! <sighs> Great. I see your temper's as short as ever. What? Why are we fighting? That's a good question. Why are we fighting? <laughs> what the? Uh. So the demon diehard thing. That was talking about us, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured as much by now, to be honest. Oh, Rain. Do I have to remember my past? <laughs> okay! Much of a train wreck? <laughs> well, hang on. <laughs> From what Wynn was saying, weren't most of our crimes against humanity caused by these troublemakers? Why? Don't! need a lesson in anger management. I need what? Oh, also, you should forget about messing with the Heralds. It's true, you can't win. I shall just... <laughs> in order to prove just how wrong you are. I know what that means. Not taking any chances with this. <laughs> 